I think one of our challenges is going to be to replace some of the significant people that have graduated for us. What we've done is uh, we've created a preseason to take into account the evolution of a young offensive line and replacing some significant players on defense. One of the things that we were last year is very efficient in protecting the football. We were plus 28 in turnovers. Being able to duplicate that or, or at least strive towards duplicating that will really be essential in continuing to improve as a program. I, I think one of the important things that we're focusing on, we did it in the spring and it'll carry through preseason, is being a much better team in the red zone, being able to convert red zone opportunities into touchdowns instead of trying to kick field goals. Those are the important things. So six and five, <clears throat> a lot of people patted our kids on the back being six and five. And we, I don't think they wanted it that way. I know we didn't want it that way. So there is room for a lot of improvement. The game experience in this level is so important, especially in a league where redshirt, you can't redshirt. So Brandon being a third year going into it, being his third year as a starter, really his role will continue to evolve. I think he showed that he is in a position to improve related to what he did in the spring. That, that was very important to us. Uh, his effectiveness in the passing game has always been something that he's taken a lot of pride in, and I think that he'll improve in that. But he's also a threat to run the football, and when you have a quarterback that is a, <clears throat> poses multiple threats, run and pass, really puts dilemmas in terms of what people try to do to you defensively. So in certain spread formations, are people going to be able to play too deep? Or are people going to be able to play single high with one safety? And if you can get somebody into playing single high, then you can take advantage of the passing game. If you get people to play too deep, then you take advantage of two back run game out of one back formations. Tyler Smith, I asked him yesterday, he was actually supposed to be here today, he had a family issue. I asked him yesterday, is he ready for uh, 25 touches a game? And he said, as much as you need me. And a uh, young man named Jeremiah Young might have something to say about that too, because he was really an important part of what we did last year. And what's unique about that position for us is that <clears throat> there were 378 tailback runs, one tailback turnover. And we've got to continue to work towards that. It'll be hard to duplicate, but uh, as one of the Patriot League uh, preseason honorees said, last year doesn't matter. It's what, what we do this year that counts. Losing five or five seniors on the, on the offensive line, four who started, one who uh, participated, that's a unique thing in that those kids that we lost, graduated, played a lot of football for us. Being able to replace them is going to be key. And game experience in this league is so important. We do return one starter. We came out of the spring with a secure position at center, right tackle and left tackle. We have two seniors competing for the, the starting guard positions. And then we're bringing in seven offensive linemen as freshmen. And it's hard to make the transition from a high school offensive lineman to playing in college as a freshman. So what we've done in preseason is we've created uh, a plan to give them a lot of repetition, a lot of fundamental work, and put them in situations that are game-like situations. On the defensive side, we have a little bit more in the way of depth defensively. The key thing in replacing a kid like Josh Eden or Robert De La Rosa is that when people game plan against us, they've got to take into account those two kids. And do we have somebody that can rise up to be that guy that can really wreck an offensive game plan by himself. Both those kids showed that they had that talent. And it might be more than one guy that we play. Uh, we return Tracy Smith as a defensive lineman. I think he'll be an effective defensive lineman. And then on the edge, we have a combination of three kids, Sam Oyakoya, Sean Sellers, and we moved a young man named Dylan McDonald from linebacker to defensive end. And all three of those kids have great quickness. Uh, be, because of this league has the balls in the air quite a bit in this league. It challenges the offensive tackles to have to play against that type of quickness. 
uh, obviously the evolution of a defensive line really helps the middle level and the deep level of your secondary because it, it cuts down the time that the quarterback has a chance to look down the field. That's going to be important to us. Just excited to get from get out of this tie and into my practice gear. And uh, you know, the kids have been on campus uh, through the summer, but we don't have any interaction with them. So being able to get you know bring the freshmen in, inter uh, phase them into our team, but also get back onto the practice field and get going.